Today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Moano USB PD100U Dynamic Cardioid Microphone. A wonderful option in the $50 to $60 range. We're going to find out in today's episode of Level Up. Before we get started, I just want to say, the full disclosure, that Moano did send me this microphone to review on my channel. But as with all product that I review on this channel that is sent to me, they have to agree to an ethics statement in which I tell them straight up, you can send this to me, but just know, sending this to me does not guarantee that I will make a video. Sending this to me does not guarantee a certain opinion. That any opinion, should I even decide to make a video, will be mine and mine alone. You will not even get to see this review until after it's been posted. So they responded back saying, we believe in our product and we are perfectly fine and okay with that. I'm going to put it up against my favorite $50 USB microphone in this video. We're going to test it out. We're going to try it out. And we're going to see if something can finally supplant the mic from the dark side. Let's try it out. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the PD100U. And as you see it right here in my hand, this is a beautiful microphone. I just absolutely love the build quality. It's heavy. I mean, my arm is getting tired holding this up in this shot. So I love the matted finish. I love the black grill that's on it. Right out of the gate, Milano, beautiful job, beautiful aesthetics. It, and it's a small, it's compact, it's durable. So, and if this thing sounds as good as it looks and as good as it feels, then it might actually replace my personal favorite in this price point, the Blue Snowball Ice. This is a love-hate relationship with my Blue Snowball Ice. I love the look of it. I always thought this just reminds me of Star Wars, Death Star. Like if Darth Vader were to start a podcast or the Evil Emperor would start a podcast, they would use this microphone, A, because it looks like the Death Star, but in all black. Give me the blue snowball ice. I'll never give it to you. We shall see. The red light that's on it, the matted finish. I just feel like Darth Vader would have said, you know what? That's my microphone. That's what I want to use. That was so stupid. I just love the look of it on my desk. But as far as in my frame, I hate it because it is so obnoxiously big in the shot. So when I do use it, I make sure it's got some black behind it. I'm wearing a black shirt and it kind of gets lost in the shot and that's how I do it. But you can kind of see like just how big this thing is. I mean, look at that thing. It's huge. So I'm curious to see how this sounds. We're going to try it out. This is what the PD100U sounds like when it's sitting on the desk on the desk mount. And I'm recording this now. My neighbor's vehicle is really loud. So I'm curious to see how much of that noise it picks up if you're living in a suburban area or an urban area or if if you're living in New York City, traffic's outside. How much of that noise is going to bleed through into your microphone when you're doing a podcast? So I didn't stop recording. We're going to run with it. My neighbor loves to rev his engine. It's a 1998 Ford Explorer that has more rust than paint. But hey, each his own. If he loves it, what does it matter? Except when you're trying to do a live stream or a podcast and you just hear this roaring engine in the background. But, you know, it's never bothered me. I don't even like to talk about it. So this is what it sounds like when I am about, I would say, four inches away from the microphone. Here's what it sounds like if I like to be closer to my mic if I'm doing a podcast or a live stream. Peter Piper packed a pack of pickled peppers and he loves pineapple on his pizza. Peter Piper packed a pack of pickled peppers and loves pineapple on his pizza. What? And now this is like your standard just sitting. I do have his noise suppression for humming or vibrating because it's the middle of winter. We have heaters on in the house. That is on, but that's it. That's all I have is noise suppression. And I have it on both for fairness for the audio testing. That's what it sounds like on the stand with background noise, cars vibrating, loud mufflers, neighbors, annoying. So inconsiderate with my podcast. They should call me before they decide to make noise in public because, you know, kind of a big deal. So not a big deal. Okay, so now I have the Blue Snowball Ice, and I have it up to my mouth. It's about two inches away, about 25 degrees off the side of my face. And the reason why I'm doing this is I don't want the sound to be dictated by your opinion of, well, the stand is shorter, it's farther away, so of course it doesn't sound the same. So let's put them in the exact same spot and see how they sound, regardless of what stand they're on. Because again, you can put these both on a boom arm and get them in the same placement. 
side-by-side -side in comparison where the stand is not a factor in how these sound. The blue snowball ice. Voila. Now this is the Moano PD100U and when I am this close, I really need to bring my gain down a little bit. I don't want it clipping. So now I am two inches, that is still loud. So we're bringing the gain down, That's I like that. This is what it sounds like two inches away from my face. Peter loves to put pineapple on his pizza for plosives. Peter loves to put pineapple on his pace for plo pace. Peter loves to put pineapple on his pizza for plosives. And you can still hear the neighbor's truck running 25 plus minutes straight out in the street. But I'm going to continue on so you guys can hear how this sounds if you live in the city and car noises and people making noises are a factor in your live stream. This is the Moano PD100U USB dynamic microphone for $54 on Amazon. Link is down below. I'll also have the link down below for the snowball ice if you love the snowball ice. Whatever floats your boat. This is what it sounds like for a total of $70 when you combine an excellent top-notch, high-end, outstanding, performing, can I just say anything more awesome about this pop filter when you add this to the Moano PD100U for a total of just $70. How's it sound to you? Sounds good to me. I'm loving the sound of this. This is great. Okay, so now it is time for the blind audio test. So we, what we're going to do right now is I have recruited my two daughters... 24 years old and 8 years old. And now you're going to have my eight voice. Whatever. We're going to have a male voice and two female voices to give you different pitches, different tones, and different vocal ranges from male and female perspective. So here we go with our audio test, starting with the Moano PD100U. This is the Moano PD100U USB microphone. And pineapple absolutely belongs on people's pizzas. Pronto especially for this podcast. Let's get on it, people. I'm just saying. This is the Moano PD100U USB microphone, and pineapple does not belong on people's pizza, no matter what my dad says. Don't listen to him. The Moano microphone and pineapple does not belong on pineapple pizza. And for a matter of fact, my dad thinks it's good. This is the Blue Snowball Ice. Here we go. This is the Blue Snowball Ice USB microphone, and pineapple absolutely belongs on people's pizza, especially for this podcast. Pineapple power, people. Let's go. Let's make it happen. This is the Blue Snowball Ice USB microphone, and pineapple does not belong on people's pizza. I still will die on this hill. Okay. This is the Blue Snowball Ice USB microphone. And pineapple does not belong on pizza. And I know that I'm right because you guys are weird. Now I have it hooked up to the boom arm. And this is how it sounds when it's up close. This is how I personally like to use my microphones when I'm live streaming is on a boom arm. Because it gives me more of an ability to be hands-free without knocking anything over in my desk setup. Let's go ahead and see how it sounds with noise when it's up here away as I'm typing. J-Y-T-R-I-F-3. Triple Yahtzee. Triple word score on Scrabble. This is what it sounds like picking up noise. Movement. Let's see how it handles movement. Testing one, two, three. Peter Piper packed a pack of pickled peppers. And Peter loves pineapple on his pizza while he's picking pickled peppers, too, you know. When it's on a boom arm, it's going to be a little bit closer to my mouth. And so plosives are going to be a little more of an issue. So Peter loves packing pickled peppers, and he absolutely loves pineapple on his pizza. Yes. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm trying to start a holy war in the comments section. I'm curious, with your comments, post down below. Are you a pineapple person on your pizza, or is it complete sacrilege? I'm curious. My house is divided. I love pineapple on my pizza. I love a pineapple Hawaiian with ham on there, extra cheese. Oh, my wife and kids absolutely hate it. In fact, if I try to order a pizza with half pineapple, the other half just plain cheese, they won't even touch that pizza because they think the juices like get into the other side of the pizza and contaminate their side. Totally irrelevant to the video, but hey, you know, that's what we do here. We have some fun. 
I'm just going to be really close. Peter Piper packed a pack of pickle peppers. So my cheek is touching the microphone right now. Like the corner of my mouth is touching. Because there are some people out there that like to be right up on their mic as they're talking, especially for voice voiceover. So Peter Piper packed a pack of pickle peppers. Peter Piper packed a pick of peppers. Pineapple is awesome on your pizza. Now let's use a pop filter. And I'm going to include a link for this pop filter down below for those who want to get this microphone and they're not sure what pop filter to get. This is a pop filter I bought for my Rode Pod mic. I absolutely love it. It's about a $20 pop filter, but it, you can see it is just thick. I mean, this is great for voiceover. Just to kind of give you a frame of reference, this is a Shure SM7B pop filter. And side by side, you can just see the two pop filters. That is night and day. We're going to go ahead and put this pop filter on and see how it sounds. Peter Piper packed a pack of pickled peppers. 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 He loves pineapple on his pizza. All right, now let, let's really put it to the test. I've got my cheek resting on the microphone as I'm talking. Peter loves pineapple on his pizza, and so should you. Everybody should love pineapple on their pizza. If you're wondering just how good this pop filter is, listen to this. I mean, nobody ever does this because it's insane to do it, but to speak directly into the mic with your mouth touching, listen how this thing really knocks down the plosives. Peter absolutely loves pineapple on his pizza. It's absolutely amazing, especially when you're using these peas for plosives. So there you go. Link in the description below for this pop filter, which is, again, fits a Rode Pod mic or the Rode Podcaster, the Rode Pod mic and the Rode Procaster mic. Those pop filters will fit on this. All right, and for all you techies out there, here are the specs regarding this microphone. It is a dynamic cardioid microphone. Frequency response is 60 hertz to 14,000 hertz. Gain range is 0 to 28 dB. There's your sensitivity, your SPL, in case you need some more initials in your life, and the sample rate, the bit depth, and also your audio output of USB-C to USB-A adapter at the end of that cord. There's your frequency response and your polar pattern for the Moano PD100U. All right, that does it for today's episode of Level Up, the PD100U by Moano, $54.99. Is it worth it? Yes. Will you be happy if you get it? Yes, I believe so. Excellent mic, excellent build quality. Man, it's just amazing, I think, for $54.99. Great job. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and hit the notification bell so you guys are set to our top. Man, I made it. I got that. I got that close. I got that close. <sighs> All right. Game face. Don't forget to hit the... Hit the... Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you guys are notified when future content goes up. Got it. Thank you for joining another episode of Level Up, and until I see you guys in the next one, I got all the way through that, and then I ruined it with the stupid hand gesture. That's terrible. Peace out. Because we don't talk about Moano. Oh, oh. Oh, no, we don't talk about Moano. I don't know that song. Everybody else does. Here we go.